today I'm going to give you an overview about the difference between the accrual accounting versus the cash basis of accounting. The main difference between the two methods lies in the timing of when revenues and expenses are recognized. The cash method is a more immediate recognition of revenues and expenses, whereas the accrual method of accounting focuses on anticipated revenue and expenses in the future. With the accrual accounting method, revenue is accounted for when it is earned. Typically, revenue is recorded before any money changes hands. Unlike the cash method, the accrual method records revenue when a product or service is delivered to a customer with the expectation that money will be paid in the future. The, on the same line, expenses of goods and services are recorded despite no cash being exchanged in hands for those expenses. With the cash basis of accounting, revenue is reported on the income statement only when cash is received and expenses are only recorded when cash is paid out. Because of its simplicity, the cash method is mostly used by personal finances or small businesses. I'm going to go over the two different examples, both from the revenue size and the expenses size to illustrate the difference between the accrual accounting and the cash basis of accounting. Let's say you own a business that sells inventory. If you sell $5,000 worth of inventory under the cash method, that amount is not recorded in your books until your customer actually hands you the money um, or you receive the check and deposit the check into your bank account. Under the accrual method, on the contrary, the $5,000 is recorded as revenue immediately when the sale is made and your customer has a future obligation to pay you even if you receive the actual money a few days, few weeks, or few months later. The same principle applies to expenses. Let's give you an example on the expense side. If you receive an electric bill for $1,000 under the cash method, the amount is not added to your books until you pay the bill. However, under the accrual method, the $1,000 of electricity bill is recorded as an expense the day you receive the bill and get notified about your future obligation. Next, we're going to discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of each of the two accounting methods. Each accounting method has its own pluses and minuses. The key advantages of the cash method is its simplicity. Simple because it only counts for cash paid or received when the money is actually comes in or comes out of your bank account. Tracking the cash flow of company is also easier with the cash method. But there's a disadvantage with the cash method is that it might overstate the health of a company that is cash rich, but has large sums of accounts payables that far exceed the cash on the book in the company's current revenue stream. Thus, an investor may conclude the company is making a profit when in reality, the company is losing money. Meanwhile, the advantage of the cool method is that it includes accounts receivables and accounts payables. And as a result, it portrays a more accurate picture of the profitability of the company, particularly if you look at it from the long-term perspective. The reason is because the accrual method records all revenue when they earn and all expenses when they incur. For example, if a company has sales in the current quarter that would be, wouldn't be recorded under the cash method because revenue isn't expected until the following quarter, an investor might conclude the company is unprofitable when in reality the company is doing well. The accrual method also has another disadvantage is that it doesn't track cash flow and as a result, it might not account for a company with a major cash shortage in the short term, despite looking profitable in the long term. Another disadvantage of the cruel method is that it can be more complicated to implement since it's necessary to account for items like unearned revenue, prepaid expenses, and because it is complicated, implementation of the cruel method of accounting might also be costly. However, the accrual method is most com commonly used by big companies, particularly publicly traded companies, because it can smooth out earnings over time, 
since it accounts for all revenues and expenses as they are generated, instead of being reported intermittently under the cash basis method. Let's pick an example. Like under the cash methods, retailers like JCPenney, Macy's look extremely profitable in quarter four as consumers buy for the holiday season rush for Thanksgiving, Christmas, but would look unprofitable in Q1 as consumer spending declines following the holiday rush at the beginning of the next year. Therefore, you can see that both methods have their advantages and disadvantages, and it only shows part of the financial health of the company. Therefore, we need to understand both the accrual method and as well as the cash basis method because it is important to know both method when you make investment decision or try to determine uh, financial health of a particular company.